The Art O'Neill Challenge got underway at midnight on Friday. 200 ultra runners and trekkers left Dublin Castle for the 53 kilometre journey through the Wicklow Mountains to Glenmalure. You don't have to be crazy to take on this challenge, but it helps. Commemorates an escape from Dublin Castle where we are now uh, in 1592 uh, of Art O'Neill, his brother Henry and Red Hugh O'Donnell and they had to escape the Brits essentially and make it all the way to Glenmalure and that's exactly the task that's facing everybody tonight. For half the field it's about finding a steady pace and surviving the night. For others it's about busting a gut and getting to the finish line. The winner, Ian Keith, crossed that line in an incredible five hours and 20 minutes. The ultras have to have a pacing uh, task ahead of them, whereas the, the trekkers, they could be taking this on without necessarily knowing fully what's, what's actually going to happen or what they're biting off and just having to chew like hell until they you know, get it done. And uh, because it takes so long, they can leave here at midnight and not maybe get into till five or even six on Saturday evening. It's a really big struggle for everybody. It's not until the sun rises that you appreciate the spectacular scenery and offer at the top of the Wicklow Mountains. This is where the lack of sleep, tired legs and mental fatigue begin to take their toll. Art O'Neill never met it to the refuge of Glenmalure Valley. This plaque, just kilometres from the end of the route, marks the spot where his ill-fated journey ended. But over 400 years later, his name is inspiring others to follow in his footsteps and tackle one of the toughest challenges on the adventure calendar. Darren Frehel, over nine hours behind the eventual winner for RTE News.